It's a great honor today to have the 117th governor of the state of South Carolina here, Governor Henry McMaster. There's nothing more important for a port than to have the support of the state's governor. The governor is the leader of the state, in, in, especially in economic development and business efforts, and, and Governor McMaster, you play that role fantastically well. Governor McMaster served on our board prior to his election as governor. He gets the port, he gets business, and he's all in for what we do. So Governor McMaster, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Jim Newsom. Thank you, Jim Newsom. Y'all, I'll be very brief. One reason it's all been said so well, and also I'm freezing to death just <laughs> like all of y'all. <laughs> this is a big deal, but Jim started the story, so I got to finish it about the wildest dream. Maybe you've heard that. I was on the way to the National Republican. I'm a Republican. I went to the National Republican Convention, and I called Peggy and said, Peggy, did you have in your wildest dream see your husband, Henry, going to nominate Donald Trump at the National Convention to be President of the United States? She said, I hate to tell you, Henry, I ain't never seen you in any of my wildest dreams. <laughs> But this used to be a dream. But as has been said, y'all, this is, this is a very big deal. And this is not the end. This is just the beginning of great things that are going to happen. Our port is spectacular. We're getting ready. And there's been great leadership. This is what success looks like. All these people that have been mentioned, all these people here, all these institutions we've been referring to and these ideas and thought over the years, this wasn't something put together in the last minute. It took a lot of thinking to do this. A lot of people have contributed a lot over the years to see these kind of things happen. Just since I've been in this office, we've announced 18,000 new jobs and $5 billion worth of investment. And it's just beginning. It's all coming our way. In this position, I talk to people from all over the world, and they are thrilled with what they see happening in South Carolina. And I tell you, they thrill with the people of South Carolina. They say, South Carolina is a handshake state. When somebody in South Carolina looks you in the eye and shakes your hand and gives you their word, you can depend on it. You can take it to the bank. And they say, they, this is the only state in the United States where that's happening. So we are strong and getting stronger. I'd like to remind you, our port going to 52 feet under great, great leadership has been mentioned. Going to 52 feet, we're going to be deeper than Miami, deeper than Norfolk, deeper than New York, New Jersey. This will be the dominant port. Charleston will be on the, on the Atlantic coast in just a few years. And one of those reasons, because we got not one, but two inland ports. People in other states don't even know what it is. Nobody has got a good one like we have at Grill, and nobody's going to have two. We are so far ahead in innovation and ideas and hard work and thinking of the rest of the country that it just spells great things for these, these young people who are here that are going to grow up in a place where they can get jobs, have strong families, and prosper. There's a new kind of prosperity that's coming to South Carolina, and it hadn't been by accident. So I want to thank everybody for doing what you've been doing, all the leadership, all the thinking that's gone into this. This is a great day for South Carolina, y'all. We're going right straight to the top, and don't ever do anything but be proud of South Carolina. We're going right to the top. Thank you.